We're going to show you a little bit about uh, shaping and fitting axe handles now. These are two types of handles that Tourte have in stock, both made at the same firm in America. This is called a Kruger number no. one and this one here is a Tourte pattern. Now you notice the difference, the Tourte pattern is a lot narrower, same thickness that way. Uh, we've actually got them to make them like that so that there's not too much work to shaping them. This is a good handle here but you've got a lot of work in, in getting it to shape. Now we basically use the uh, spoke shave. Most of these handles are still just too thick across here so we've got to thin them down this way. The shape this way is not too bad on them. Got a nice uh, hollow in there. Most of you will have a vice. It's all the old spoke shape. Still the best method of uh, getting a handle down to the right thickness. Now all I'm doing here is I'm getting a flat and I'll come to within a quarter of this back edge. Okay, that's all I'll do with the spoke chain. I'll now use a, a fiberglass panel rasp. You can use all sorts of rasp, but I've, I've actually found that this here is really good. Uh, we've had this for uh, over two years and it's still cutting uh, very well. Let's make sure that you keep that straight. Take your time in doing a handle. Takes us pretty close to an hour to shape up and fit a handle. Doing it by hand. Starting to look pretty good. And this is just to suit your own preference as well, just how how thin you make it. Okay, that's that side done. We, we then just turn that over in the vise and, and do the same on the other side. We're now going to fit this handle that we've shaped up uh, to the flat axe. Um, we've started it off, we'll just get it in just a little bit further. Doing there. I'm just checking to see how it lines up with down the centre uh, and I'll also just check to see uh, how it's lining up. 
to catch out quite a bit. What, what's going to happen here, these three points have got to line up. And then you'll be able, you will be able to use that axe in underhand and standing. If you want to change that point at any time, uh, that's not a problem. But for, for basic lining an axe up, that's what you've got to do. This is where the axe drift comes in. Now we've got to knock that uh, handle out. We can now see that it's tight here and tight there. We're going to spoke shave just a little bit off each side and then fit it again. Really take your time with this and don't uh, don't do too much to it before you uh, put it back in the uh, eye of the axe again and just make sure that it's uh, going where you want it to go. You've got your spoke shave nice and sharp and working well it'll take it off very quickly. Right. I haven't altered the back of this so it'll probably still be fairly with a fair way out. Now it's coming a little bit closer. Starting to fit all the way around now on this side. I'm just going to take uh, a little bit off there and none off here. This is a major worry to a lot of competitors, fitting axe handles, but it shouldn't be. You know, if you just take your time, no problem at all. As I said before, we will spend an hour on, on shaping up a handle and, and filling it.
Okay, that's ready for another try. Lining up there. Just check out. Line this way. Yep, it's just got a little bit more to go. So everything's going quite, quite good. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to hold the axe and drive it in just a little bit further. From this point, I'm looking at getting it in uh, 600 mil. Well, no, it's, it's 610 mil probably, or 24 inches. Now that's an average, uh, an average length. Uh, some individuals uh, like the 600 mil or 23 and a half inches. I'm actually very close to that now. Bang on 24 inches. String again. So just a little bit. It's got to turn this way just a little bit more. I'll actually cut this off. Cut it proud, of course. It's pretty hard on the saw if you don't. And you need it proud to uh, have a safe handle uh, when you've got the wedge in. when it goes in it won't come out I wouldn't imagine so we're going to put uh, either a little bit of paint on there or a little bit of oil I'll just put a little bit of oil on this one now this handle is ready to fit now and I've put a little bit of oil on here it's just to stop the handle drying out um, quite a lot of handles break at this point you could put paint um, but I prefer uh, uh, just a little bit of oil. Now we've got to just check that the three points are, are lined up. Yes, perfect. Now this this axe is ready for the wedge.
you've got to be careful all the time when you're working in. Although I haven't heard that axis, if you bumped yourself against it, it would be uh, it's extremely sharp and you'd, you'd get a, a nasty cut. We just split up, but that's what I want. Okay, that's your shaping and fitting of an axe handle.